I was given a old computer that had a pretty good, well, 160 watt power supply in it. Still worked, so I figured I would take it apart and use it as a power supply for chargers or fans, whatever I needed. So this is how I did it. I still have two screws in the top to keep it together. They're just finger screws. I don't know if you can... Hello? Still got the screw. You can do it with your finger. Pull it apart. It's got a fan on the top. And I left all the extra wires in it so I can use those later. I have my 3 volt rail, 5 volt rail, um, minus 3, minus 5, power switch, extra grounds, and all the miscellaneous stuff in there. But I only use 12 volt, so black is ground, or negative, and in my case yellow was positive. So I have 9 or 8 amps on the 12 volt rail, so I took one rail and used some old fans that I got out of my broken Xbox Red Ring. Thank you for that wonderful machine, Microsoft. Um, and this is what came out of it. Hello. Um, it's two fans in one case. They're independent, and this one, the one fan, just the wires pulled out of it. So it's one fan in a case of two. So this works pretty well on 12 volt. Microsoft only runs them on 5 for reasons I don't know because they're idiots and uh, this powers it and charger uh, charging a 6S it, I think my charger can only do 3 amps so it's a pretty good 12 volt rail and this is probably 7 years old 8 years old and you can buy a much better power supplies, like 600 watts, but it's not 600 watts on the 12 volt rail for the cheaper ones. Um, it's usually like 300 watts, so you have to take that into consideration. If you're buying a 400 watt power supply, um, it might only have like 200 amps of what you can actually use. So look into what your uh, charger needs and your battery needs, and Make sure the 12 volt rail can supply that and you should be good to go. Uh, but basically all I did was cut off the connectors and twist all the wires together. Same with these. Um, these I didn't do anything with. I just cut them off and um, made sure they weren't going to contact any metal and wrapped them up. Because I don't use anything that they can power. So there's no need. All you really need to do is uh, find your power switch, which should be, I'm pretty sure it's all green wires, and short it out with a negative or ground wire. And that'll make sure your power supply turns on right away. Um, and this can power uh, a charger and charge probably up to 7.5 to uh, 8 amps of power because it only has eight and a half amps on the 12 volt rail and your charger needs some and whatever you're putting into your battery. So thanks for watching. Bye.